All right, Jeff King is here now with sports. And I tell you, Jeff, my son plays soccer right at the same field where the new National Rugby Training Center is. And it's pretty cool having rugby be so, so alive and well in our community, isn't it? it so uh, is mom going to let him play rugby? Um, we'll talk about that yeah, later. Okay, awesome. <laughs> All right. Great sport, I though. Love, I love rugby. If he wants to play, he can play. There you go. It. Well, yeah, Stace, the University of Victoria Vikes men's rugby team welcomes a familiar face to the program. And as uh, Andy Neal reports, Nathan Hiriyama is poised to bring his world class experience back to the Vikes and help out an already excellent program in the Premier League. Eight months away from school has provided quite an adjustment for Nathan Hiriyama. I'm taking a full course load, so it's a bit of a shock to the system since I haven't really used my brain the last eight months. But the phys ed student is ready to provide a shock on the pitch for the Vikes rugby team. Hiriyama comes home full of world-class experience. He played for Team Canada at the Rugby World Cup in New Zealand, getting a shot to play against the tournament's famous hosts, the All Blacks. It's kind of the pinnacle of the sport, I'd say. I mean, they ended up winning the World Cup, funny enough, Two of the teams in our pool ended up being in the final. As soon as the World Cup was over, Hiriyama was back at it for Canada in Mexico and helped our country to the first ever rugby gold medal at the Pan American Games. Well, going in there, we knew we had a chance uh, with like the U.S. and Argentina being our main competitive competitors, but uh, we beat them, beat them both, so it was pretty cool. As the Vikes prepare for the UBC Thunderbirds on January 21st at Wallace Field. Hiriyama is a welcome addition who leads by example. The thing the young guys see is his skill level and it's, a, it's a, always good to play with better players I think and uh, I think he elevates their level for sure. While he's with the Vikes now, Tate knows he'll lose the talented Victoria product when Hiriyama serves for his country again. But a short-term loss is a long-term gain. You have to play internationally to, to get better and you have to play in, in front of big crowds and against the, the better players of his age group. So there's no question that, uh, you know, I totally endorse the, the guys' opportunities to play for Canada. Obviously you want to play as, as much as you can. I, I wasn't starting, but it was still a good experience. Um, I went to the last one as well, but I didn't get any playing time that time around. So uh, it was definitely a better experience for me personally. Time will tell if the exposure of the 2011 World Cup received in Canada will have a competitive impact in 2015 when the event is held again in England. I know a lot of people that were watching it and keeping up with it that aren't normally into it but so I think just that kind of following is a nice thing and that kind of uh, press is good for the sport in the country. Hiriyama hopes his game will grow for 2015 along with a beard inspired by teammate Adam Kleberger. Starting mine now for the next World Cup, so. You figure by then? Yeah, it might be as good as Adam's, so, but probably not.